there and welcome back today we have hercules versus mongol um now i would like to say this because i know maybe at this point some of you might be thinking well why has i have all, all you've shown is is uh marvel hercules why haven't you thrown in dc's hercules and the truth is, is that dc's hercules really isn't covered much the last time i heard of dc's hercules he got into a fight with grail and he ended up dying so that's as and again that's about it for DC. Again, DC doesn't really. I don't think DC does DC or DC doesn't do gods or write gods well. I just don't think they do. Neither does Marvel. Um, but I think Marvel gives them more justice than than what DC does. So if I, and again, I don't know if I ever used again. As I said, I created these things about you know six months ago. So I don't know if I have, if I have DC's Hercules in a upcoming battle. But what I can say is, is this. In my opinion, Marvel Circles is probably the best fit for DC's powerhouses, in my opinion. Um, just on sheer physicality alone and abilities. So, that's pretty much it. Anyways, um, I'll just get straight into this. So, Intelligence. Intelligence. I am going to go with Mongol. He created uh, the Black Mercy, if I'm not mistaken, right? Black Mercy and the Golden Fury. Um, I have, I'm looking at his Wikipedia page right now. Um, so he has, he does have, in terms of overall academic and knowledge, that's totally his domain. Tactics. Tactics and actually in warfare. Both of them are actually going to go to uh, Mongol. Because he's a veteran of warfare, he he runs a planet called War World. Not to mention, he was a, he trained Superman, right, um, at one point. So, he does, and again, I'd put that above what Hercules can. Hercules can, can beat Thor in a fight, but Mongol's the kind of guy who, from what I understand, can fight almost anyone. Just on a sheer fighting capabilities alone strength he's around superman level strength and if you know anything about what i think because again this is what i think who would win in each category hercules is the, the you know he is again i'm not going to say it i think at this point you already know why speed Again, another Superman level speed character. Durability. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure he tanked a really ridiculous attack. Now, I'm, I'm going to try and find it. I know I have it uh, uh, here somewhere in my, in my nose. Um, let's see. Well, I mean, he was able to survive fighting Doomsday. That in itself was a durability feat in itself. But I'm pretty sure he survived fighting, I think, Imperiax, who I'm pretty sure threw, like, a major attack at him. Again, f correct me if I'm wrong. But I would say that probably tanks... Again, I don't know what Hercules... I don't... I, as far as I know, I've seen Hercules tank sh massive shots from World War Hulk. I, I've seen him tank... Or I've seen him take a Thunderbolt from Thor... And I'm pretty sure he's been able to hand... Oh, no, that's Ares, actually. Ares was the one who got hit by Mjolnir. Well, if Ares can take it, so can Hercules, so... Um... I'm gonna have to go with Undurability. I'm gonna go with... With, uh... With Mongol on this one. Healing. Ah... Uh. I'm going to go with, with Hercules for one reason. Mongol's healing factor, it isn't really... The extent of it hasn't been fully explored yet. So I can't really give a definitive answer as to who's got a more, uh, you know, uh, faster or more efficient healing response. But because Hercules is an Olympian god with Olympic physiology, it grants him a much accelerated level of recovery um, than what an average human is. So does Mongol's physiology, but again, unspecified. So going with Hercules on this one. Invulnerability. Um, this is actually a pretty difficult one, come to think of it. 
Because Mongol can be grievously wounded. Like, he can be. Uh, so can Hercules. But from what I imagine, it, it takes a lot to, to, to really... Again, blunt force can, can give him, like, a black eye. But it has to come from someone who's as powerful as World War Hulk. And Mongol isn't nowhere near as physically strong as World War Hulk, in my opinion. So, there's that. Again, Hercules also fought Thor. And, he, and again, no blood was drawn, nothing of that. So, again, it's... I can't really say who has a over... I would actually you know what. At this point, I'm just going to give them... I'm going to give them a tie. Because I, I honestly can't definitively say or... Who has an overall better uh, invulnerability edge. Energy projection, if I'm not mistaken, Mongol does have heat vision. Or he has some energy projectile capabilities. He has uh paling energies that's another one or that's one so he does have some form of energy projection. he does have heat vision as well so i would probably give energy projection yeah that's definitely going to to mongol versatility again more you know he's got again he's got more abilities to him so that obviously goes to to mongol X Factor. This, I think, in the end, is going to come down to hand to hand. That's, I think, where it really is going to come down to. And the only reason I say that is because Mongol doesn't seem to be the kind of guy who really likes using his heat vision or his paling energies. He's a war veteran, right? So hand to hand combat, up close, you know, straightforward, you know, Smash Mouth, Smash Mouth style, as JR would say. Um, yes, that is a wrestling reference, by the way. Uh, I think this is pretty much, you have the brute strength of Hercules with his, you know, uh, exceptional fighting skills versus Mongol and his superior uh, fighting capabilities and overall strategy. That's what this really comes down to. Yeah, he's got the, the additional abilities, right, that can help him. But this is actually, uh, again... And, uh, this is hard. There's one, th there's maybe one thing. Again, attacks of great, dam of great impact and energy can afflict, like, pain on Mongol. Hercules with his adamantine mace can do that, in my opinion. Again, you have... Virtually the strongest being in the Marvel existence, arguably, with a mace that is with a adamantine, which for the record is a mythological metal, right? It's, um, I'm pretty sure the gates of Hades are made out of adamantine, if I'm not mistaken, at least in Marvel's continuity. Or maybe I'm thinking of the Percy Jackson series. I, I've read all the books, but anyways, um, again, you have to consider that. The, the mace with Hercules' strength, with, again, fighting skills, again, pancreation, boxing, other sorts of, of martial arts styles, it's something to consider. So, I think, overall, I'm going to give the X Factor to, to, to Hercules, and it's going to come down to this. Hercules has fought beings more powerful than Mongol, and he's done fairly well against them. He's even beaten some of them. So, I would probably say... Hercules has this only for the fact that he can he can take people like Mongol, right? Mongol, I don't think he's. I mean, he's fought Doomsday, right? And which which if you again if you were to scale, you could probably say you could take Hercules, but again, Doomsday is an unrelenting killing machine. No thought process, just straight at you. You know, I'm gonna drive my bone spikes through your skull, kind of guy. Like that's what Doomsday is. Hercules, he will put you in chokeholds. He'll put you in a chicken wing. He will smash you in the face with it. He will smash it. He'll, you know, smash your face and with the mace. That's what I see from Hercules. Right? And I don't think Mongol has faced anyone quite like that. So, anyways, I think I'm going to give this to, to the thing. But in the end, Mongol wins this, no question. 
So, uh, that pretty much covers it. Uh, I hope you have uh, enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and or share. Uh, I also would suggest you subscribe, if you like gaming, follow, you know, subscribe to Digo. Uh, I mean, at this point, you probably already know what I'm about to say, but if you're into fitness and nutrition, subscribe to Macro Matters. He has videos on all sorts of nutrition tips, uh, routines even. He has, an, he has an ab training routine or an ab circuit. And uh, subscribe to him again. All the links uh, for, well, for Digo's YouTube channel is down below. And for Macro Matters' his YouTube channel as well as his Instagram page is also linked in the description below. And um, anyways, I guess uh, just to be brief... Have a good day. See you in the next video.